Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we're going to be going over how to set up for a line grind here in Savannah. Line shrink here in Savannah from 12 until 1500. I normally start my clock at 1300, which doesn't leave much time to check all the line drink zones. Now the very first thing you want to do when setting up a line grind or any grind at all is to find all your drink zones. You never find lines drinking along the coast, but every single lake besides two at the bottom, which I'll show you, will have line drink zones. I just love hunting lions so I think they're just so awesome. One of the coolest species in the entire game. And now that I'm playing on PC, they look so much better in the trophy lodge. So if you're grinding for a diamond lion or any of the rares, I'm personally grinding for an albino male lion. You only want to shoot males. Males will respond as males and females will respond as females. So if you're looking for a rare female, then you want to be shooting the females as well, which I am. Would love to have a multi-mount with an albino male and females with rare fur types. Before we take a look at the rest of the video, if you guys are not subscribed red to the channel, be sure to do that now so you don't miss out on any future videos. Be sure to ring that notification bell. I am using a herd management with the exception of one lake. So what does that mean? Herd management, I'm going to take level 5, 6, 7, and 8, hopefully stack some diamonds and get some rare fur types along the way. Using herd management, I've let all the level 4s live. Hopefully as many lakes and many drink zones as I can will have level 4s and our chance of spawning a diamond with a rare fur type will be greater. Now I did say with one exception, there is one lake that I hunt over and over and I'm going to shoot every line that spawns because it just keep respawning and I made a separate video just on that and I'll put a link in the description below. So lines are at class 9 and I'm using a 338 with the polymer tip bullets. I always carry with me the Predator Distress Fawn Caller. Lions do an excellent job of hiding in that tall African grass. So the Predator Distress Fawn Caller does a great job. To make those lions move. I don't necessarily need them to come closer. I'm okay with taking a long 300 yard shot. Once I start blowing the collar and the lions start moving, then I can spot them in that tall grass. Now we can see something moving in that grass. I just need to get a spot on him. Just want to make sure he's not a level 4. I want to keep all the level 4s alive on the map. Let's blow that collar one more time. See if we can get him to move a little bit. So the female came out into the open. And the male was hiding behind... The cowardly lion hides behind the trees. I don't think he's a level four. I have never seen any level fours at this location right here. He's just not coming out from behind that tree. Funny how he went behind all the trees. The female lion just walked right out into the open. We may have to just shoot him through the grass. Fairly certain he's not a level four. Oh, he's mad. The female is mad too. So I have been attacked and killed several times by lions. Unlike other species in the games, lion will kill you every time. First attack, you're dead. Crocodiles, they seem to bite you several times before they get you weak enough to kill you. Uh, looks like the females ran away, so let's jump down and go pick him up. I don't think he ran off very far. I think I got a pretty good shot on him. There he is, right there. So he didn't go very far. A level seven, a light brown. So I did not get a vital. 
So lions are a class nine. They go all the way up to a nine. Legendary to be a diamond, they need to be 48.5 or higher. Max weight for a lion is 595 pounds and they come in different fur types, albino, blonde, and dark brown or the rare fur types, light brown and tan or the common fur types. So I figured it'd be easier to show you where lions do not drink. They do not drink in the bottom two left hand corner lakes. They also do not drink on the coast. All the other lakes, they'll have lion drink zones. So right here in central Savannah, my favorite lake, Nakava, Kuivi, well, something like that. This big lake right in central Savannah. I do have multiple tents set up over here so I can fast travel between the north, south, and I also just recently set up a tent right in the middle. Just use that mostly to pick up some lines and have a quicker access to the lines on the north side of the lake. So this lake is just insane. It is incredible the amount of lines that just keep respawning over and over and over again. Multiple males, I'm shooting the males and the females. They all get some lead. Say, what is he doing? He's like doing some type of break dance. That's actually a glitch the lions have. When they try to flee, they just can't run. They are frozen and you can shoot them again, a follow-up shot if needed. I do get some occasional floaters, probably more than I like to on this lake. And sometimes the floaters just disappear. Well, that's rude, you're just pushing her out the way. That's okay, I'm gonna put some lead in her chest. She is down, it's over. So fast traveling back and forth between the south tent and the north tent, the lions just keep respawning. So I just can't stop hunting this lake because the action is such incredible. What I need to do now is go to all the other lakes, try to get as many level fours to spawn at those other lakes. I think the plan is once I have about 15 or maybe more level fours on the map, I'm gonna come back to this lake and just devastate over and over again. See if I can get some high level, some maybe some diamonds to spawn with some rare fur types. So just at this one lake in their drink time between 13 to 15, I usually get about 15 males plus a bunch of females included. That's a pretty good amount. It's way more than I get hopping from lake to lake so I have multiple look at this two lines right next to each other let's see if we can take these two guys out before we end the video I'll take you gonna do the jump around thing he's fleeing but he's frozen I'm okay with that so it's a glitch you can take advantage of he is fast man Oh, he's doing the bouncing up and down thing. He's going down to the right. Look, look what we got over here. Two more lines. Well, guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. As always, keep hunting, stay happy, and I'll see you next time.